channel welcome back to a brand new video one of my faves today we have a Primark haul I did pop to the Trafford Centre recently popped into Primark grabbed a couple of bags full of things but I definitely want to head into city centre because that to me is like the best Primark there is that and the Birmingham store so good and Bristol actually because I used to live in Bristol and that Primark is really good as well um, but yeah I have picked up a few things a couple of fashion items a couple of homeware so let's just dive straight into it, shall we? Make sure you're set and ready with a nice cozy drink. I've just nipped to Costa from myself. Just an Americano today in my new home, well, I say new, it's because I've not used it yet. My home bargains mug. This is like 79p or something. A little thermal flask in beige, well, like a stone color. Love it. Anyway, let's get in to the haul. I'm gonna start with sharing with you the kind of like home bits, sit down bits, and then I'm gonna stand up and chat through the fit of all the fashion -y items that I have got. So let's get into it. I've got a full day of sort of like filming out and about and everything today. And so I've taken Barney to Doggy Daycare and they're just sending through all these photos. So cute they do this. Honestly, like sending my kid to nursery. But there's about five golden retrievers there today. He's so cute. Anyway, let me put my coffee down and let's get the show on the road. I'm going to start with two lots of wrapping paper that I picked up. I recently picked up that wrapping uh, paper storage bag from Amazon that you've probably seen. And so I'm stockpiling it full of things as and when I see them out and about. So I saw these two and loved both of them. So I'm a big fan of the whole like brown craft paper design. I picked up this one, which just is plain brown with the white happy birthday. This was two pound 54, three meters. And then I picked up this one, which I thought was really cute for like a baby shower gift or christening gift, little child's gift. Just think it's adorable. So six meters you get in this one for only one pound. So that is mega value for money, that one. I saw this in the wellness section. It's an acupressure mat and pillow. It was 14 pounds and it's a gorgeous kind of linen canvasy texture with, if you can see, ooh, they're spiky. These little acupuncture spike, oh my God, they are so spiky. Ooh. Okay, so if you've not seen these before, they're like a mat that you can lie out and just lie on or like any kind of pressured areas that you need relieving. You just apparently acupuncture pressure, it's good for you. So um, I thought this A looks nice in and amongst my little yoga setup that I've got. If you saw my morning routine, my little yoga block stand thing that I've got, it's in the corner of this room. So um, they did have a yoga block as well, which I was tempted to buy. It's like a cork yoga block, but I just left it on this occasion because as and when I've done yoga, I don't ever really tend to use them. So, uh, but yeah, I thought I would try this out. I think both myself and Tom will, will benefit from that. I saw this jar, which very much reminds me of Zara Home. Their homeware at the minute, Primark homeware, especially if you go to the big city ones like Manchester city center, it's incredible. It's just like walking into Zara Home. So they've got quite a few bits with this kind of acacia wood um, in this case, a little cookie jar, biscuit jar, which can either stand on its side like so, which is how I'll probably have it. On the side, you could get three of these with coffee, tea bags, sugar, or biscuits and tea bags, whatever. Or you can stand it up that way and have it maybe in a cupboard with flour, rice, pasta, whatever you want in here. So I just got the one for now at five pounds. They seem to have a new selection of home fragrance scents. These two in particular, I love the look of, 
I love the bergamot scent. So I quite often pick these room sachet, scented sachet things up at only a pound each. You just take them out of the cellophane wrapper, pop them in a gym bag, a wardrobe, a small bathroom maybe. They don't tend to last that long, I'm not gonna lie. Whenever I have them, I'd say a couple of weeks you get out of these, but not much more. Um, and then I also picked up a reed diffuser, which they claim to last up to eight weeks. Again, in this bergamot scent. How nice is that packaging and their branding? £2.50 this one was. I thought that would go quite nicely in the same room that I put that little room sachet. Next up, I found this little set of a wax melt burner in this white ceramic color. It's kind of like a creamy white though. And it comes with a little set of wax melts in the scent Unwind, which is blush jasmine. I love the simple design of this. There's no fuss to it, super minimal. It was six pounds. Is that quite pricey for a wax melt burner? I guess it does come with the um, wax melts. I saw this at six pounds and it reminds me of something that I've seen on Zara Home that they do. And it's a little tin of volcanic, what's it called volcanic rock set there we go so it's a box full of volcanic stone and then it comes with one essential oil blend in blush jasmine that unwind scent but you can use any essential oil that you have i have quite a few for my sort of oil aromatic oil burners from the white company that i like to use so i probably will actually use a white company scent and maybe pop this in a room maybe even this room actually because i've got fireside in here so i feel like the volcanic ash stones type thing oh my god if i can get it open would work quite nicely with the fireside scent so that's what it looks like when you open it up here is the little essential oil and yeah these can be used obviously in the oil burners as well so i just feel like five pound for that one was actually quite a good price point especially when you compare it to the Zara one, I want to say it's about £30, something like that. I picked up another one of these. I have these in my underwear drawer and they're so useful, but we have some drawers downstairs that I thought I would pick up another one of these for. I may even go back and get more. The more I start organising through these drawers that I need to have a big clear out of, the more I might realise how handy these come in. So at £4, they have different sizes and shapes for the actual uh, dividers and everything, but this is just the large drawer organizer, super handy. Again, it's that kind of canvas linen fabric, so it feels nice, looks nice, and looks way more expensive than four pounds. I picked up this from, again, the wellness section. It's a weighted eye pillow at two pound 50, and it's exactly what it says it is. It's just a little weighted kind of bean pillow. I'm not sure if you can, heat these up or not it's 100% linen I think it is just a pure weighted pillow so they've got it either across their eyes or across their forehead so if you struggle to relax in an evening or if you're doing a bit of meditation mindfulness at the end of practicing some yoga you could pop this on your eyes and it just yeah, it's a nice weighted pillow in linen. I thought it would look nice in a spare bedroom as well. Okay, so Primark have started duping Skims, Skims underwear. So they've had for a while the kind of towely, fleecy, teddy kind of pajama sets and dressing gown sets, which obviously is a clear duke for the Skims sets. But now that they do the underwear, they do thongs as well, like a super high rise thong. This one is actually a short, so I thought I would try it out. They have different colors. I opted for the sand they're six pounds and i got mine in a small which is a 10 to 12. i feel like i might even do a bit of a TikTok on this one to give it a full review and test out so if you're not already following me on TikTok, place to be now i am fast becoming obsessed with it um but yeah that is what they look like then i also got this set of underwear again from the wellness section made using sustainable materials this is a ribbed underwear set it's a super high rise brief and little bralette i loved the deep v of this bralette these are the sort of things that i wear on an everyday basis and i thought with the brief like that it's almost quite a nice kind of sunday attire chilled underwear because um, typically i tend to opt for thongs but 
you just want to be a bit comfier i feel like this looks like a lovely set so it's seven pounds i did size up to a medium a 12 to 14 because again i don't if i'm wearing comfy i want to be comfy you know then i also stockpiled on two of my absolute favorites this is a new color that they've brought out of this underwear set i wear these on an everyday basis i've got one on now i'll just show you this is the color that i usually go for it's like a darker nude so now that they've brought out this lighter nude i decided to pick up two pairs of this five pounds for the set i do wear a medium i do have some of them in a small but i prefer the medium fit it is probably a bit too big for me i'm not gonna lie there's hardly any support there but i don't feel like i need it and i'd rather my underwear be a little bit comfier so uh yeah five pounds for the, each of those and they have loads of colors they did have a lemon but they only had a large left and i was tempted but it probably would be too big so i'm going to keep my eyes peeled for a small or medium in that lemon shade because it was beautiful i did also pick up this set as well this is the last of the underwear sets that i picked up and it's more similar to that white set that i showed except this is a, a far thinner rib if it picks up on camera there but it's a very similar kind of shape bralette, which is just plain and simple. There's no clasps or anything, very comfy. And then the brief as well. So this could be a good time of the month underwear set to wear. So I got these again in a medium at five pounds. And then the last of the kind of accessories before moving on to the clothes, I picked up one pair of premium super soft rib footless tights. I thought with a nice, long line cardigan or something these would almost pair up as a pair of like super thin leggings so i got them in a small to medium they are in oatmeal i picked up two sets of hair clips this one is uh, three pounds and there's two shades there's a leopard print but there's also a kind of olive green but like a lacquer matte kind of olive green i just think that's beautiful i really do so i typically wear these just round the house every single day. I never chill around the house with my hair down, never. I always have it up in some kind of clip on top of my head or clipped up like the 90s style where you do it like that and then clip in. Um, so yeah, doing my makeup, my hair's clipped back. So I picked up that set and then I also saw this one at two pounds, which I thought, looked quite chic and one that you could maybe wear out and about and actually style up whether it just be um you know you take the front two pieces and clip it there so it's out your face but it's only like a half clip i just thought it was so nice and it's matte as well so it's a really nice finish but yeah that square design i just thought it looked super chic and then i picked up lastly this three pack of velvet scrunchies at two pound I very rarely like all three colours in the scrunchie sets at Primark. However, this time I do. I love all three of these and I'll get use out of all of them. Right, that's everything. Let's get on to sharing with you some of the fashion-y items. So this is the first set I have to share with you. I actually have a few pairs of pyjamas. I'm gonna have a bit of a PJ purge. And um, yeah, so I picked up a load of new Primark bits for my pajama drawer so these bottoms are full length they kind of gather at the bottom and a nice kind of loose fit relaxed super super soft long um top this is in like a ribbed finish as well it is eight pounds for the top eight pounds for the bottoms both are in a medium and i did also pick up a shorter pair for the summery months these ones i got in a medium the shorts are six pounds and then the top, I did size up to an extra large in this one just because the actual vest top looked quite small, I thought. So uh, yeah, five pounds for the top. This set is definitely better suited for now when it is still quite cool, it is a wintry months. So it's quite a thick, um, but again, super soft pair of PJs. So the bottoms are quite thick. They are in a medium at 10 pounds and they've got little stars on, can you see? They'd have been good little Christmas PJs actually. And then the top is an extra large at 10 pounds. Okay, this is the next set. I'm absolutely in love with this set. It feels so thick, so great quality. I honestly really wish that I had these for Christmas day because I thought like the little star print was so cute. And um, obviously you can wear it any time of the year you want. That's what I'm gonna be doing. But I just thought these would have been a lovely little Christmas 
um, set of PJs. But anyway, they're super thick and cozy, so soft, so impressed, so happy with these. I also picked up another pair of pajamas, which I'm gonna show you now. Now, this set, I actually own something very similar from Primark, which I bought in my last Primark haul. The other ones were a bit more from like the premium range. They were a little bit nicer. They're in like a champagne color as well. But this time around, I got the chocolate brown satin PJs with the long sleeve collared shirt and then the tie waist, tie waisted trousers. Got the trousers in a medium at eight pounds. And then the top for this one is eight pounds. And again, I got a medium. So let's try these ones on. So these pajamas are actually not like the other ones at all. The other ones are far nicer. These ones are very staticky. They're like clinging. I don't know if you can see that to my legs and arms. So they are bit staticky. The medium also on the top feels a bit restrictive. So I think I'd size up even more if I was going to keep these. And also the bottoms I'd size down because the drawstring is not a drawstring. I hate it when they do that, when um, it's just a fake drawstring for looks. So I would need a small in the bottoms, but they're just far too staticky. So next up, I picked up a pair of their new kind of workout leggings. I don't typically wear these as a workout legging, but leggings to like walk the dog in, wear them on an everyday basis with a nice slouchy sweatshirt. At six pounds, I thought these were a bargain. I did get a medium and from memory, we'll see when I try them on. From memory, I think a medium might gape a little bit at the waist, but we'll, we'll see. And then I also, just to, I might as well try it on at the same time, did pick up a basic tee. This one is in a medium at six pounds. But if you pick like a standalone boxy fit like this, it actually looks quite nice. Thick neckline, just these little details that yeah, six pounds for a t-shirt from Primark is maybe on the steeper side. But I do think the fit, the style, the material, the quality and the look of it is worth it. So I'm gonna try these two on together. Okay, I'm gonna start with this t-shirt because I do absolutely love the fit of it. It's, I suppose, a bit more androgynous in style in that it's, um, I don't know, the boxier fit, the longer kind of loose fit sleeve. I just love that style personally, but it is a bit more masculine, I suppose. But yeah, keeping this. The leggings, I, I'm gonna send back, seeing as I'm taking back those pajamas anyway and making the trip back, I might actually go into the city centre to return them because the city centre stock is better, I will admit that. But yeah, these leggings, they're almost there, but I'm just so used to wearing my Lululemon leggings now that nothing really ever compares. They are a lot more expensive though, so if you are a bit more on a budget, then they are actually quite a nice thick fabric. They just, for me personally, I'm quite self-conscious of my legs and I love wearing leggings. So any leggings that show a bit of lumpy and bumpy cellulite here, just have to go back for me. And the waist, there is definitely a bit of gaping if you can see there. I'll just show you this. In fact, the rest of my bits are all just jackets to kind of throw over the top. So I might as well just show you them all with this outfit. So this one is again from the workout section in a 14, no, in a 12 to 14 at 14 pounds, made using recycled plastic, well done Primark. And this is a kind of like fitted, um, like the zip up that I thought I would wear again for, I'd get for dog walks because most of my things are a bit more like bigger and oversized are fine, they're nice, but I don't have anything a bit more fitted. So I thought I would try this out. I love the color of this. And then the hood, if I just show you, looks like so. Right, the other item I got is a gilet. It's from the men's section in a medium at 15 pounds. And I thought again, as an extra layer, I have a really nice Adidas coat that I wear on dog walks that is fully waterproof. So I'm guaranteed to stay dry in it, but it's quite thin. So I have to layer up when it's cold. So I wear a gilet. I've got one from Zara that I wear, but I just wanted a secondary one. And I'm a fan of this. Oh, I really like this. Look at me in all green. I look like I'm about to go fishing. Speaking of which, the last item is this Parker style. They had this in a like stone color, beige color, and then this uh, light khaki green, which I opted for. So 17 pounds this one was originally. It's in the sale for 10 pounds. 
they had they only had a 2xl they had they did have a extra large in the stone beige color but i wanted this one and it does if i stand back a bit i'm just looking in the mirror for for the moment it does appear quite boxy but this cinches right in so you can properly cinch in to give yourself a bit of a waist if you wanted to and um it's still long enough to wear with leggings and i i still don't think it's as long as i'd have liked it to have been if i'm being completely honest with you so i don't know maybe if i take off a few of these extra ten thousand layers then i might get on with it a bit better but yeah i'm gonna have a proper play around and see what i'm gonna keep and what i'm gonna take back but definitely those pajamas these leggings um that might be it though that might be it we'll see anyway this is everything that i picked up thank you for watching let me know which are some of your favorites i hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and i hope to see you all again very very soon in my next video bye guys